Welcome back to 13 News at 4. From road rage to out of control parents in the stands, it seems like a lot of us are really angry or at least angrier than we used to be. Yeah, we've been talking about this in the newsroom because mm -hmm. it's what we see every day. So we know you're seeing it too. A lot of angry airline passengers sometime in line even at the store. Yep. I posted about this on social media recently and uh, asked why do we as a society seem to be so angry today? And boy, you all had a whole lot to say. I ended up with more than 200 comments and they generally boiled down to four things. They're there on your screen polarizing political views, social media, uh, they revolved around COVID and financial pressure. Same thing with people we approached on the street. We as a society have created in our social media and our other media a sense of divisiveness. It's got to, you've got to be Democrat versus Republican. You've got to be COVID shots versus not COVID shots. You've got to be so much and it's kind of divided us including like civil conversation, right? Yeah. So often you... you. Well, what what is civil conversation? Right. I haven't seen it in mm -hmm. a few years. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I asked a therapist about this. What is behind this? What's at the root of it? And she told me anger at the end of the day is the result of something that's provoking us. It's not necessarily that thing that's right. taking that's the us trigger. off. Right. She says, if we don't have life's basic needs met, like do we have shelter? Do we have food? Are we financially secure? If we're lacking that, if we don't feel safe or you know we feel insecure in some way, we're on edge and more likely to be angry and even sometimes act out in anger. Yeah, which that completely makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, when the economy is bad, we see crime shoot up, jobs are impacted, yep. and everything else that you just mentioned mm -hmm. is impacted. So how does that play out when I'm just mad that the driver in front of me is driving <laughs> too slow? Well, so I asked the therapist about that, and she told me we have to look inward, look at ourselves. So. <laughs> Maybe our fuse is so short because we're running late. Did you leave on time, right? Oh, okay. So right. maybe we should have left sooner. The bottom line is take a minute, pause, and think, why really am I angry? Where is this coming from? Mm -hmm. And then the next step of that is just literally take a moment. And this is where there's a, a thousand different techniques about breathing, mindfulness. Um, go look those up. Mm -hmm. It's what works best for you. Anything we can do to delay that reaction from that instant moment to reaction is going to be a better thing. And if we just take tiny steps, even if you slow yourself down by one or two seconds, you're going to make a better decision than if you just react in that moment to anger. Okay. Yep, that's so take true. Take a moment. Simple, I'm, but not easy. Not always easy. Yeah. I mean, as I age and progress through life, I'm mm -hmm. just seeing like it really is going back to the basics mm -hmm. with managing your life, you yep. know, taking care of yourself, eating well, Margin, exercising, right? beating out, um, being outside and yeah. seeing green grass and green trees. Mm -hmm. Back to the basics. Mm -hmm. And just being kind, a yeah. kind human being, giving each other grace. We've got much more of our conversation with Vanessa Enos from Community Health Online. Just look for this story at WTHR.com slash scene on 13.